Hello, my name is AJ. I'm your hypothesis coach for today, and we have level 5.3 wall mid back crunch. We need a washcloth or a towel, something you can slide on the wall, and you need your mini ball. And of course, you need a wall. So let's come back to the wall. Let's be on the same side together. My right profile is going to face the wall, washcloth in left hand, and ball, of course, behind the low back. If you're working with a hypoxis coach and they've suggested a variation on the plat on this particular exercise, please make sure to follow that. That's there to optimize your program. Otherwise, it's a perfect starting place. So let's begin here where I'm digging my heels hard in into the ground and pulling them back toward me. So if the ground were slippery, they'd pull back just like this. A lot of hamstring engagement. That's going to help increase activity of the low abs. The ball goes right between like where the ab ribbon is and those lowest ribs. Why? Because we're making the connection here to move only from that point above the ab ribbon. This is a mid-back mobility exercise as we come up and as we come down, I'm pressing my right rib hard back into the ball as I add in rotation, and I'm not letting my, my pelvis move. So stare down at your pelvis, put your hands here. The pelvis is a neutral, it's not tucked, it's not arched, it's halfway between the two, and the movement is only coming from the ribs. So intense for the upper abs. Awesome, awesome. Place the right hand on the wall, pull it down the wall, so if the wall were slippery, it would pull down like this, engaging in the right oblique and also your lat on the right side, but the arm is not back here, it's not straight up here, it's right about at that 45 degree angle, you want to continue that pressure the whole time. Now the washcloth is in the left hand and you're rotating to face the wall, the washcloth washes up, it comes down as that right hand presses down the whole time pulling down, slight rotation, putting more pressure under the right rib than the left rib, closing your eyes to deepen that visualization of the deep ab connection, loosening your ab rib and on the engaged exhale. And we have three breath cycles today with our four beat breath retentions. Keep that ribbon loose on the breath retention. Pull that right hand down, heels driving back, right rib presses down, zip up, inhale. Hiss, two, three, four, five, inhale one, inhale two, and nice and slow blow. right hand down, latch -ish. hold the breath for four, loose rib in three, two, and all one, pause, inhale, inhale, hold the breath for four, loose rib in three, two, right rib one, and inhale, right hand down, pulling back, loosen the ribbon. You're holding four, three, two, and a one. Whew, I know, so much in the abs. That's how you effectively target your abs in a crunch, working it properly and getting the deep core muscles in there. Now it's time to do it on the other side. So either Rewind the video 60 seconds so we can perform the exercise together or you can stop the video now at this point and just put a metronome on your phone at 60 beats per minute to get practice with that long eight second engaged exhale, always loosening your ribbon on the engaged exhale, keeping it loose on each of those breath retentions.